What I'm looking for as a coach when I'm recruiting is I'm looking for good kids. Kids with character, kids that are going to come out every day and give us everything they have. My coaching tip would be that hard work pays off. And uh, just do what your coach says and do it uh, to the nth degree. To make sure that you are uh, outworking your opponent and uh, do the little things and pay attention to details. To work hard and practice, practice, practice. You know, a lot of high school kids think that their two hours of practice is enough, and it's really not. There's a lot of things that they have to do on their own. For any athlete looking to be competitive in college, you have to become comfortable with hard work. Um, being comfortable with stress, being comfortable with fatigue, and being comfortable with pushing your limits in every single workout you do. If you do that, then you'll have a chance to make it. And working hard and, and working together. Find the things you're not good at and get better at those things. I think a lot of young people, they're, they're so excited about the things they're good at, they work at those things all the time and they don't find their, they don't, they don't get better at their weaknesses. The best thing you can do as a prospective swimmer or diver is to do well in school first and then continue to train throughout the season, join a club team, and then get in contact with me if you're interested in training swimming and diving. To not put all their eggs in one basket. To take control of things that they have control over, fitness, work ethic, and of course getting it done in the classroom as well. I think what junior squash players have to realize is that the level of college squash is extraordinarily high. And in order to start off strong in college and maintain your strength. The best thing you can do as a junior is to compete as much as possible and play as many long points as possible. A uh, coaching tip for an aspiring athlete is to do everything. I would say you want to be fit, you want to compete, you want to play as many different sports as possible to be athletic. I think by the time you get to college then obviously you want to specialize but um, it's important to be well, a well-rounded athlete especially in our conference so that's one thing just for them to know how selective it is. Every team in this league, you know, a lot of kids want to play in this league. A lot of people want to go to Trinity. Be coachable, be resilient, and be a fighter. That's what I would say. We're looking for those type of kids in our program, to kids that are resilient. Uh, my coach's tip for anybody that's looking to be a better wrestler would be to wrestle. It's very important to be in the mat as much as possible. Play high school, play club, play, play, play a lot. I think the biggest thing in, in basketball is the fundamentals. I, I think it's a, uh, I think it's something that's uh, not as um, used as, as in the past. And if kids can work on the fundamentals, work on their ball handling, work on their passing, work on their shooting, work on their defense, it's going to go a long way for them in their in their future years. The more time you get in the mat, the better, and it's all going to pay off in the end. So uh, the biggest tip is just to wrestle. Probably the most important piece of advice is play it because you love it, and not because anyone else wants you to play it. My piece of advice for, for any student hoping to play college athletics has nothing to do with athletics at all. If you don't take care of the business in the classroom and improve every day with your studies, then, uh, then college athletics are, are, just a, are just a dream for you. Uh, to make those a reality, you need to take care of your classwork. As soon as your academics start slipping, you, you close the doors to a lot of options uh, as far as colleges go. So if you keep your academics up and uh, your work ethic up, the rest will just fall into place. Keep working hard. Good luck.